BattleBots has a rebrand, Lego Robots in Reading, and Winston Churchill, all this week in Robot Combat. Three, two, one. Hello and welcome to This Week in Robot Combat. We are getting ever closer to BattleBots Season 5's filming date, and with it comes a whole heap of spoilers, so uh, needless to say, there will be spoilers in today's episode. But all of these robots will be public knowledge or are public knowledge, sorry, already. Uh, there's nothing that isn't widely available online, so make sure that you know that going into this. Anyway, um, let's crack on with the first story, which is the spoilery bit. Last week, Team Outlaw told us they were competing in BattleBots. This week, we see Spitfire, which is basically Ironside just looking awesome. Next, Blade version 3, we knew they were coming, but this is the look of it. Fans of King of Bots will not be surprised by the look of this thing. Ghost Raptor we knew was in, but again, we are getting our first look at this gorgeous looking machine. Really excited to see it in action. Petunia 3.0 will be coming to BattleBots, and this time they have, by the look of it, a flame-throwing pincer. I'm excited. Warhawk is back this year this is last year's version they haven't actually shown us what this year's will look like i'm excited to see it as well now winston churchill why well the eagle-eyed of you will know that that is not actually winston churchill it is in fact james from team donald thump and he is bringing winston churchill this awesome looking machine uh is basically the uk's donald thump dressed up to look like winston churchill it's going to be amazing fun james is always such fun on stage uh, in each show, whatever he does, it's just brilliant. So look forward to that one. Craig Danby's out for my job by the looks of things. He's uh, reporting live from Suplex City with Slamo, who is in the competition. And there it is, suplexing Bite Force. Or is that really Bite Force? Big news, big news. We also got a leak this week, unfortunately. No Son of My Archie this year. Um, the team do explain that it is down to a number of factors that neither that or Falcon will be here this year, but Hydra and Fusion will be competing for Team Waiachi, which is very exciting. Hydra being the big flipper we saw last year, impressed everyone, went 4-0 in the pre-season bit. And then Fusion, their new machine, is a beast of a thing. I believe it's got two spinners, one front, one back. Uh, it's going to be awesome to see in action. And lastly, from the people that brought you Wayo from uh, BuggleBots and the people who brought reality to BattleBots a few years ago are bringing this robot called Ominous. Now we move on. BattleBots has had a bit of a rebrand. This is the new BattleBots logo. This is official. This is not a fan-made thing. This is the official new BattleBots logo. It looks pretty cool, pretty basic. Red square, blue square, BattleBots underneath. It's a lot easier to brand with this I think the old BattleBots logo with just BattleBots written is quite long so exciting times. Animal cruelty, animal cruelty, the YouTube police are coming, yes somebody beheaded two-headed death flamingo, it was the team, they beheaded it and why we don't know but they seem to be getting ready for the new UK live tour, looking forward to seeing what happens to two-headed death flamingo, please put the heads back on. And Team Shock have built a new featherweight this thing is called Tidal Wave, and it is a pretty ferocious little X-Bot, so I'm looking forward to seeing that as well. Now, at a brick event in Reading, Lego robots have been fighting. If you've not seen Lego robots before, these things are awesome. They cause a lot of damage and destruction, but are very easy to put back together because it's Lego. It's all remote controlled stuff. It's none of this sort of me pushing robots around the arena like I enjoy doing, and this is complicated things and um, David Harrison friend of the channel and uh, local boy to me really uh, has been competing as well you can see some of his robots in pieces here um, Duck having just defeated a very big spinner so well done to David for that uh, and some of his other robots on the workbench it looks to have been a lot of fun and apparently there is a video coming soon so make sure you stay tuned I will let you know when that comes out and lastly ESC put an episode up just after me last week uh, at 9pm in fact. So this episode is out, it is Legendary Robots and Killalot's Beefcake. Of course it is, it's ESC, with Nate Franklin as well as the special guest. And that just about does it for this week, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like, do subscribe to this channel if you are new, 
and remember not to spoil anything that you might know that isn't public knowledge down in the comments below, in the chat, the side, whatever. Just keep it to yourself until it's made public by the teams or by BattleBox itself. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next time for probably more news because that seems to be all I can get time to do these days. Cool. Bye.